हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमिश्री याग्निक एट डॉक्टर याग्निक्स फिजियोलॉजी हब एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट न्यूरोग्लियल सेल्स न्यूरोग्लियल सेल्स दे आर द सपोर्टिंग सेल्स ऑफ द नर्वस सिस्टम एंड दैट इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इट इज बीइंग आस्ड एज शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ आइदर एट मार्क्स और एज अ शॉर्ट नोट ऑफ फाइव मार्क्स you can edit the answer according to your needs but as of now i have provided over here what is to be mentioned if it is asked in short question of 8 marks so neuroglial cells definition neuroglial cell is the supporting cell of nervous system neuroglial cells are non excitable cells of nervous system that is they do not transmit impulses so they are called non neural cells playing an important role in the reaction of nerve during infection which are the excitable cell excitable cells are neurons but neuroglial cells they are not excitable it means it does not conduct impulses okay they are found in tumors of nervous system mostly its important role is what they play an important role in the reaction of now during infection normally their numbers are 10 to 15 times greater than neuron classification they are found in central nervous system as well as peripheral nervous system so accordingly it is classified as central neuroglial cells and peripheral neuroglial cells central neuroglial cells they are of four types ependymal cells astrocytes microglia oligodendrocytes in some of the books it is mentioned that there are of three types that is mainly the astrocytes microglia and oligodendrocytes and in some of the books ependymal cells is also included so i have included ependymal cells over here okay See, this is the image of all the types of neuroglial cells these are the ependymal cells oligodendrocytes astrocytes microglia satellite cells and schwann cells they are the part of peripheral nervous system okay ependymal cells are mainly useful with the csf formation astrocytes they are star shaped cells and we will study about its detail in the next slide itself a uh, microglia they are the smallest of all the glial cells and they are indulged in phagocytic activities okay oligodendrocytes they are also useful for the conduction and in detail we will be studying later okay so now ependymal cells it is the thin neuroepithelial lining of the ventricular system of brain and the central canal of the spinal cord it is involved in the production of cerebrospinal fluid and also serves as reservoir for the neuroregeneration neuroregeneration okay so it is very important part in the production of csf that is cerebrospinal fluid and ventricular system of brain like as there are the chambers in the heart ventricles they are known as ventricles similarly there are also uh kind of a chambers that are known as ventricles you have heard about third ventricle fourth ventricle right so that all are the parts which you will study in detail in anatomy okay fine now next is the astrocytes astrocytes they are star shaped cells they are found in all parts of brain two types of astrocytes are found in human brain that is fibrous astrocyte and second one is the protoplasmic astrocyte okay what are the fibrous astrocytes they occupy mostly white matter nerve cells and synapses are covered by the processes of these cells processes of this cell covers the nerve cells and synapses okay fine they play an important role in the formation of blood brain barrier what is blood brain barrier so that is like uh, only the useful material will able to cross and enter into the brain tissues from the blood okay anything can not enter into the brain tissues there are certain useful things it will only enter into the um, brain tissues so this fibrous astrocytes play an important role in the formation of the blood brain barrier they form tight junction with the 
membrane of capillaries of blood vessel of brain this tight junction deforms blood brain barrier tight junction that is the part of the cell junction you have studied earlier in the while you were studying a cell junction so in tight junction this tight junction forms the blood brain barrier okay now next is the protoplasmic astrocyte they are present mostly in the gray matter and it runs in between the nerve cell bodies we have studied what is nerve cell body the part of the nerve cell which consists of the nucleus it is known as the nerve cell body fine now what are the functions of astrocytes it forms a supporting network in brain and spinal cord forms the blood brain barrier and regulates the entry of substances from blood into the brain tissue regulates neurotransmitter level in synapses provides calcium and potassium and maintains chemical environment of extracellular fluid around neurons microglia they are the smallest neuroglia cells they plays an important role in phagocytic activities whenever there is any sort of infection and injury to the brain tissue they are derived from monocytes and also called as macrophage of cns as it is derived from the monocyte the main function is macrophages main function is the phagocytosis sorry oligodendrocytes they provide myelin sheath around the nerves in cns where schwann cells are absent they also provide support to cns by forming the semi stiff connective tissues between the neuron what is the meaning of semi stiff connective tissue that is a hard kind of the connective tissue between the neuron that will provide a solid support to the neurons okay and their main function is the formation of the myelin sheath around the nerves we all know the importance of the myelin sheet right now dealing with the peripheral neuroglial cells what are the peripheral neuroglial cells we have already completed the part of the central neuroglial cells in central neuroglial cells we have already studied the four types of neuroglial cells first one is the ependymal cell second one is the astrocytes second third one is the microglia and fourth one is the oligodendrocytes we have studied different kind of astrocytes we have studied the function of each neuroglial cell now moving for, further ahead with the peripheral neuroglial cells the peripheral neuroglial cells they are of two types schwann cells and satellite cells schwann cells they are major neuroglial cells of peripheral nervous system plays an important role in nerve regeneration nerve regeneration provide myelination around nerve fibers in peripheral nervous system myelination means insulation around the nerve fibers in peripheral nervous system removes the cellular debris during regeneration by their phagocytic activities jo waste product bach jata hai cellular debris ke cellular debris they are known as cellular debris okay during the regeneration by their phagocytic activities okay now this is the image of satellite cells and the schwann cells satellite cells they are found always on the peripheral aspect on the surface so these are the satellite cells and these are the schwann cells okay now what are the function of satellite cell they are present on the exterior surface of peripheral neuron nervous system neurons they provide support to the pns neurons regulates chemical environment of extracellular fluid around the peripheral nervous system neurons thank you if you like my video please like share subscribe comment if i need to do any sort of improvement your comments are most welcome thank you